Hello and welcome to Maker.io. In this episode, we're going to learn how to use Adafruit IO so we can send data to and from it. So the first step is to get the Adafruit IO library for Python. So to do this, we can go pip install Adafruit-IO. And then we just simply wait for the installer to do its thing. Once you've installed the Adafruit IO library, the next thing to do is to go ahead and create a feed. Now I've already created my feed here, but the way that you can create your own feed is to go to actions, create a new feed, give it a name and a description. So once you've got your feed, you'll now need to get your AIO key, which is your Adafruit IO key. And this is essentially like a password that allows you to use your IO account in programs like Python or the ESP8266. So to find out your AIO key, you go to navigation and view AIO key. And you'll need to copy this number here and then paste it into the Python application where it says your AIO key here, keeping the quotation marks like that. So now that we've entered our AIO key, let's see how the program works. The first line simply imports a few important libraries that we need in this program. They're not too important as to what they do or why they're needed, but if you include this line, most of your programs are basically going to be fine. The next line creates an AIO object, or specifically a client, and here we pass the AIO key. The next line, AIO.send, allows us to send the number 21 to the feed workshop temperature. This is used to send data to Adafruit.io. The next line grabs the current value of the workshop temperature feed using the receive function and then we can print that data. And the last line simply just prints done. And that is all there is to using the Adafruit IO library for Python. And now you can see why I love to use Python whenever I can. Well, that's all we have time for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.